Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And just in case you're new here, I'm Kathy, it's my husband Greg. Um, we are trying to do the garden thing. Even though this is called This and That Outdoors, we try to do other things <laughs> on the channel besides gardening. Um, that's been kind of put on the back burner right now. Um, anyway, so go ahead, you sound like you're gonna talk. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, we try to do other things right now. You just have a few different concerns, but the garden is garden is still going well and we're mm -hmm. still um, having a lot of fun with that and yeah. want to share that with everybody. Yeah. And so y'all can learn by our mistakes. Sure. Because I know we've been making some. <laughs> we've done a few things right. Hey, but we know how to grow cucumbers. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Anyway, so today, um, do a little bit of a garden tour and we have decided to um, pull up the potatoes to see if there's any yeah. and also onions that we planted see if there's any of those yeah so the, the tops on both of them look good we don't know what the uh, root looks like yeah so, so i'll do the tour and then we'll get started with that so it's going to be kind of for those of you that watch every week we're doing it backwards <laughs> <laughs> today so we'll start over here oh first gotta got have this lucky and all right baby say hello <laughs> so the catnip is going just crazy um the moms i don't think they like it over here they're kind of dying out a little bit i don't think they're getting enough sun yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, the zinnias are starting to come alive now. Looking good. The hummingbirds are loving them. One of the last of two sunflowers. But I just love this color purple. And these flowers, I have no idea that came from a kind of a mixture of seeds. So, but yeah, the zinnias are looking so good. And all I did was, it was just the tops of the um, zinnias um, from last year. I just saved them and I just sprinkled them in here and they're coming up. So we'll go around the corner. And these here are the Ace 55, these first four. Look at these tomatoes. They're looking so good. It's loaded. I'm trying to keep the bugs out of them. I've already had the little worms starting to attack the leaves from here. So I cut them and I sprayed some BT around them. I tried not to get it on the tomatoes though. But, um, and then these two here are the Romas, right? Yeah. And, I can't, for some reason, I cannot remember we, the name of all these yeah. tomatoes. Yeah. Got a few of those. A few of them. So, so I'm getting a lot of blooms. Yeah, so it's yeah. funny with the, so the Ace 55s, this, all the bushes are the same age and mm -hmm. roughly the same size. This one plant here is loaded with tomatoes. This one's got it's just got, a couple. Yeah. And the two down here don't have anything yet. No, but they've so, got some blooms, so. And all the yeah. tomatoes throughout the garden so far are kind of like that. You'll have some that are pretty loaded and some that really haven't even produced anything yet. Yeah. And the nasturtiums. They might be protecting this sin, but as you see, I didn't have any. I've got them up in there, but they're not really doing well, which could explain why they're getting attacked by the worms on this sin. I don't know. Yeah. Jury's still out on these things, keeping the bugs off. But they're pretty. They are pretty. I love yeah. the little blooms on. And the different ones have different colors. Yeah. So, yeah, they're real pretty. And I, we're, I'm starting to think they like water. Because on this end, this tends yeah. to get a good bit of water. Because when we start watering our garden, mm -hmm. water from the um, from the hose kind of it sprays out a little bit, and it comes in this area. So yeah, I, I, I think, think that like one it. ends up getting some extra water. Yeah. Now over here we got the spaghetti squash, and we have been looking up to see when they're ripe and when they're not, and pretty certain these are ripe because I can't even get my nail in there. But 
one of the videos I saw, it said, leave it on the vine as long as you can and it will store better and last. So the vines and all are looking really bad, but we may pick a few of these yeah. because I mean, they're small. They're not the big ones that you see in, like in the grocery store and maybe have like, you know, cook two of them for dinner. And um, I'm trying to keep the other ones on there as long as possible. But we'll see. I did put this one in a bag. Um, I'm afraid because we've already had, you know, the butternut break off from the stem. I'm afraid this was going to do it too. So I said, well, I'll put it on there. But also I think it will protect it from getting the worms. So we'll see. See all that powdery mildew. Yeah. I hadn't sprayed the copper or anything on it yet. So, and the butternut squash, even did it with one on that one too. Um, all of these plants, the butternut squash plants, I had bought a butternut squash at the store and just saved the seeds. And that's what this from. It's from those seeds. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how well it yeah. came through. They all came. <laughs> three bushes over here, I think four, three or four over, yeah. over in the Yeah, and I mean, they all look great. Yeah. The, so. the plants are beautiful. Mm -hmm. some, of, some of the healthiest looking things we have in the garden. Yep. And here, we've got... The Amish tomatoes. <laughs> and look at, they look kind of funny. Yeah, kind of funny shape. But they say they don't have as many seeds in them, so which is yeah. good. I have found, I think the seeds just don't like my stomach. Okay. So we're trying this. I think that's also an Amish. Mm -hmm. That is a steak tomato. I'd... Yeah. Yeah, but he's getting, oh, there's bigger. Yeah. Let's get around here. Yeah. So I can't wait for them to start ripening. Yeah. More. More steak potatoes, t potatoes, tomatoes <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. so. Got them coming up. Yep. And it won't be too long for a tomato sandwich. And these, these are, are loaded. This is a yeah. Jubilee. Um, okay. Last week we noticed some yeah. bottom end rot on on some of the. It was the just tomatoes, this plant right here, Just that here, one right? plant, and just just some of the tomatoes. I I picked them off and threw them out. And um, I've seen no more bottom end rot since we pulled those. And it was, I probably pulled off half a dozen or so. Yeah, um, yeah they're starting to come on really yeah. well. So, yeah. yeah, Bush is pretty loaded with them. Pretty pleased with All those. of these tomatoes we have never planted before, so we're not even sure how they taste. No. So, we're going to find out. Yes, we are. And see. So... Let's bring you this way. Oh, <laughs> Greg is like, no, got cucumbers. <laughs> okay. Now, our cucumbers, you know, we had hail last week. And um, I'll show you the ones on the other side. But, you know, that's some of the hail damage. Yeah. These, these didn't had. get quite as much hail damage. No. Um, it did kind of push the, the fencing that we have. It pushed it back some. Um, yeah. So you've got that powdery mildew again. But they've... They've been producing really well. We're probably averaging four to six, eight cucumbers a day. I think one day I picked like 12. So, be long before that one's ready. Or that one. Getting close. So, yeah. There's a lot of them that are coming up. Even though the bushes don't look quite spectacular. Yeah. Uh, but we just gave some to another neighbor this morning, so. So, already given to three different neighbors and my yep. mother and, and my dad, dad and my sister, one of my sisters. Yep. So, so yeah, we're kind of passing them, them around. Day. Yeah, we're eating them. But the bottle brush. Oh my goodness, the hummingbirds are loving the bottle brush. See, this is where they break through with the flowers. So we still got a lot of flowering to go. Let's see if they still got the flight. Yep. Show you how to get close enough where you can see the little pods, how the flowers come out. 
there for the hummingbirds who love these. And this tree is loaded full of them. It's so neat to see them. I wish they'd all kind of bloom almost at the same time. <laughs> That'd be really pretty. Yeah. Like Christmas, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but the hummus have been really all over all our over. flowers and their blooms on the um, vegetables. So, yeah. So they've been all over. Yeah. Um, went ahead and pulled up those real pretty flowers. You can see this. I dropped them down in there. They're actually called Bachelor's Button. And so I took off the ones that were dried and put them in a bag. But then I went and sprinkled some more of the zinnias in here. And um, I took up the calendula. Can you say it right? Calendula. No. It's, is it? No. Anyway. Sure. Close enough. <laughs> well, this is the other. Yeah, it's calendula. That's the other sunflower. And that's the last two that I have left. But I did the same thing in here. Sprinkled more zinnia seeds. You can see. Uh, and that's all I do is just kind of break them up and just drop them in the air and just water them. So we're supposed to get some rain from a low pressure system. I think tomorrow yeah, through the weekend. We hope. So we'll see. The grass is parched. Yeah, our grass is just dead. Costs too much to water it too. Because <laughs> we're watering the garden instead. That's pretty magenta color. The lighter purple. But yeah, I did the same thing in here. I dropped some more zinnia seeds in here. Oh, and these are our beans. First time growing beans. And these are the Kentucky, Kentucky Wonder Spring Beans. Yeah. yeah. So I know zero about beans, so I'm not going to even try to tell y'all anything about beans. <laughs> <laughs> they're running a lot. We know they, they're that. They're running. Yep. But I, they haven't started to put it started to put on any beans. We have seen a few. Um, balloons, balloons. But, um, not even a, a lot of those yet. Yeah, so. something was right there. Room there in the back. Yeah, there's one. So, so we know so anyway, nothing about Kentucky wonders. We might not produce a whole lot, but we'll see. This bottle brush is starting to get a few of them on there, but not as many as that other bush. I mean, that other bush is loaded. That was the only one I saw on this bush. So, oh, and after the hailstorm knocked down these flowers here, Greg tied them back up, and they're starting to die out now. But I mean, they just kind of perked right back up. They're so pretty. So I'm hoping they will be a staple in this one. You know, I've got the um, the pink honeysuckle here. And um, so I'm hoping between the two, they will be a staple in this circle here. So let's see, let's do these. There's more Kentucky Wonders. Uh, let's see, got some more leaves coming on. But um, my understanding is they don't like to have their feet wet. Maybe. So, yeah. So we'll see what, what they end up doing. Um, hopefully, we'll start seeing something soon. Hopefully. Yeah. And then over here, of course, I got the nasturtiums here trying to protect the tomatoes. And these, or all these three were volunteers? Everything but two bushes in here were volunteers. Some of, most of them were cherry tomatoes, I think. Four of the six were cherry tomatoes, yep. and two of them are some type of larger tomato. We don't know what they are. I'm going to show so you. It's, Look at that, how it's loaded. I mean, it's got, what, eight? And then here's another one. And, and we've already and eaten a, a, or picked a couple of off of here yep. that are starting to get right. And that was their first, first ones to get right. Yeah, and there's another one. Yep. It's probably ripe enough to put in the window. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I want to get so. into it for it, the bugs do. Now, one thing I'm kind of disappointed about my Cherokee purples that I had three of them. I separated them, and the smallest one, he's already gone away. And I think my second one is getting ready, or 
is in the process of dying. Don't know why. And then the third one so far is looking good. So if I can just get one of them to survive, yeah. that, that'll be all right. More nasternums. These and are the two steak tomatoes, yeah. steakhouse tomatoes. So Starting to get a couple of them on. So. Yeah, hoping they're going to be big. Yeah. They're supposed to be big, they're according to the picture. Yep. Corn is starting to sit back up after that windstorm. Yeah, well, I had to so, put a little dirt around the yeah, roots. To so help them stand help up. But they're stand. looking good. Yeah, they're looking better. So, and over here, we got the Kajari melons. I'm going to show you all something. <laughs> Look, we got our first melon coming up that has the stripes. But there's a few others that are starting to come around. Yeah, in the, in the bright light, they, you, know, you can see you the can stripes really on see. those as well when it gets yeah. bright sunshine out here. But I'm so glad they're starting to do something. Um, yeah. This one, he's on a struggle bus. He hadn't decided if he wants to produce any or not. Um, it's got one on. Does it have here. one? Oh, yeah. yeah. But he, I noticed him earlier. He's got something on him right there. It's kind of like something bit it. Probably one of the see? birds. Yeah, or the squirrel. Yeah. But um, I can't wait to eat a Kajari melon. Now, the kakuzi, you know the... <laughs> Kakuzi's kakuzing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the plant. Yes. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at the blooms. And what problem we've been having is they would get about three or four inches long yeah. and then die out. However, I think we may have turned a corner. You see that one. Then you've got these two up here, yeah. and they get long. I mean, we're we're talking like three feet long. They can get in there. So my understanding is they taste like zucchini, and bugs don't like them. <laughs> as you can see, they got hail damage too. So not yeah. as much as the cucumbers. I'm going to show, you. but. The um the blooms. That one's not open all the way, but it's almost like they're like paper thin. When they yep. are wide open, they're just so pretty. When I look out my kitchen window and see them. Yep. But um. Only in the early morning and late evening. Yep. It's the only time. During well, the, during the, the day, heat of the day, up. they don't they close up. Yep. So we um we're just gonna let them fall to the ground and hope for the best. <laughs> because it's just too much to try to you know put them back in there and to keep them on the cattle panel yeah. so but i'm hoping they taste good i've heard a lot of people say they like them better than the zucchini so we will see um got some squashes yellow squash yeah that's a yellow squash that's yellow and that's yellow they've got blooms on them yeah. They hadn't done anything yet. Um, the okra, we've already cut a couple of them off. Yeah, and that one mm -hmm. probably tomorrow we'll be cutting that. Yeah. You know, we Is don't have enough for a meal. <laughs> not yet. But it's, so. <laughs> you know, going to be like an addition to something else. So yeah. might we'll, stick we'll them supplement. on the grill or something. <laughs> yeah. But um, we need definitely need more plants of yeah. zucchini. We've got the bell peppers. I'm not very hopeful. On them. I mean, I'm hoping it's just, it's, you know, the sun is just too strong right now for them. And I'm hoping they, you know, as the months go by, they'll get larger and do yeah. something. And here we've got more of the yellow squash. Yeah, that one's actually got a and nice squash on there. Yeah. Where is he at? There he is. Well, let me get you down here. Yeah, he's looking good there. And then this one here. The first one on it, it ended up dying, but we got two more. So hopefully they'll be okay. Now, again, the butternut squash. <laughs> I cannot believe Just how these are doing. Grows, yeah. From store bought butternut squash. That's <laughs> all I did was save the seeds from it. Yeah. And they're just looking good. So. Um, 
And then here is a zucchini. We have been cutting a lot off. And I even gave a couple to our, one of our neighbors, too. And um, so far, I've been able to keep the you-know-whats out of them. I'm not even going to say the word because I don't want it out in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> so strawberries and the green stalks are looking fantastic. I mean, you know, we did have that cage around it to keep the squirrels away, but then squirrels hadn't seemed to bother them. But then the Japanese beetles started eating them, so we've been putting this around them, and also to try to keep the birds away from them. But not yeah, going well. Cardinals, cardinals seem to like them. The cardinals like the strawberries and the blueberries. So got another one right there. Like something been eating that one, babe. Really? Yep. Bad yep. young birds. Yep, something's been eating that one. I don't know what it is. Something been eating it. So what I'm doing whenever we eat the strawberries, I'm just sticking the stems right back in there. So what I'm gonna do with this whole one, I'm just gonna stick them right back in here. And let him see if he'll seed and give me some strawberry plants and we got the marigolds around it my understanding is squirrels don't like them yeah we'll see haven't found anything a squirrel doesn't like yet these cucumbers here they got really beat up by the hail i mean they plants look so bad <laughs> i mean it's not only the leaves look at the stems i mean mm -hmm. that's all hail damage from it. I cannot believe that it's still alive. <clears throat> and the thing is, we've been picking cucumbers off at yeah. steady just about every day. Yeah. So there'll be a couple more come off tomorrow. Yeah. And I picked some this morning. This one, he's okay. He didn't really get any damage. Yeah. So, which is good. It's small, Here, but we've I had a few off of it. Here's you, a couple of zucchinis. Oh, and there's another one on this side. So, so far, so good. And our jalapenos. <laughs> didn't crowd I've been out. giving those away, too. But they, it's getting kind of crowded out over here between the butternut squash and the zucchini. So, but you can know, see the hell damage on this, too. Yeah. But the jalapenos seem to be thriving. Yeah, we've been, we've been eating plenty. We've, mm -hmm. About once a week, we'll do jalapeno poppers. And yeah. They're great. And one thing, show you on my deal. Look at here. Look at there. Yeah, I know they're eating my deal. But they are going to turn into black swallowtail butterflies. Yeah, and, and the dill is the only thing we've seen them on. Yeah, well, so. they really like dill and milkweed. And I can't remember the others. But I had bought some milk we I was going to plant, but, you know, that hadn't turned out. But, yeah, I mean, they're all kind of everywhere. So I'm letting them have the deal right now. Wasn't doing a whole lot anyway. So. No, it wasn't. I don't think it likes heat. No. But I can't wait to see this little guy turn into a butterfly. I did a little bit of research on that. And it seems they stay in the worm stage for three to four weeks. So, I don't know if we have enough dill to support them. I know. <laughs> Hopefully they don't go to something that we really want to keep. Yeah. Well, they, they won't. That's the only thing they like. Um, the lavender, I think, is on a struggle bus. I was hoping that it would look good. But these are the tomatoes. We've been tomatoes. eating up the... Uh, tomatoes? On, yeah, tomatoes. Onions. <laughs> onions. <laughs> um the chives, we've been eating them every morning with our eggs, so we are we need to probably leave them alone right now to let them grow back. But we're going to pull those onions up, <laughs> and then we'll pull, pull some of those these. up. Yeah. The blueberries, we're going to do some work on these um, because they're, you know, on these two plants, all they did was kind of 
kind of dry up on us. My understanding is probably water, maybe some fertilizer. So, but the last one, which is the newest one we had planted, we are still getting some off of them. Not too much, but you know, enough for breakfast. So, and um, over here, the green stalk, my basil is looking good. And the oregano is looking good. I need to figure out how, I guess I can dry it. I need to figure out how long I need to dry it. My holy basil is coming up. Look at here. Okay, now let's do the onions. Not tomatoes, onions. <laughs> I got some little ones. Yeah. I think they're all going to be kind of little. Yeah, that's all right. Little needs love too, right? Yeah. I think they're actually a good size. And then we got to let them dry out. All right, I'll have Greg put this on time lapse. <laughs> All right, well, not too bad for our first time growing <laughs> onions. Yeah. I mean, I think it's decent. I mean, yeah. considering what they started out looking like. Yep. So I mean, the tops look great throughout yeah. their growing period. They did. Um, I was really thinking they'd get bigger than that, but that's okay. Yeah. Might need to do a little bit of research on how to make them bigger. Yeah. <laughs> it might have so, been the variety. I don't know. Might have been, yeah. I don't know. So, so, but that's good. Okay. Anyway. All right. We, um, had a problem with our video. We um, showed, did some video of me uh, digging up the potatoes. Um, for whatever reason, it did not turn out. It did not record. We kind of stopped recording um, kind of in the middle of um, the, the green stalk. And um, I think the camera overheated. Um, but anyway, as it turned out, we did not get a whole lot of potatoes out of our um, out of our potatoes, out of the um, the grow bags, I was reasonably pleased. That's the first time we'd ever planted any from seed and had them go to um, full cycle. So, but they turned out to be pretty small, and I, I think it's as much to do with the dirt I had them in as anything else. The dirt was pretty compacted, and so I don't think they were um, given their best opportunity to grow. So anyway, we've got maybe a servant or two, <laughs> and uh, we'll put those on a baking sheet with some olive oil and some garlic and such, and we'll have us a good old time with those. Um, we did end up getting um, six of the uh, spaghetti squashes cut off. Uh, those are pretty nice, so we'll let them age for a bit, and um, then we'll give them a try. Uh, what you see here, that was the butternut squash that had fell off uh, probably a week or two ago. Um, we set it out. It's it's still nice and solid. Um, we're just going to see if it'll um, continue to ripen. It has changed colors, but uh, I'm not sure that it'll ever um, ever be ripe enough for us to to actually eat. But we'll see. Um, all right. I um, wanted to give you all a little update on our bluebirds. You know, we had them over here and there. And this group was the second one that she had. Um, she had three of them. One of them didn't make it, which she's feeding them all by herself. Usually the um, male helps but this male has done nothing. Didn't help with the building of the nest, didn't help with the feeding, nothing. She's 
had to do it all. And she could only handle two. So anyway, uh, they fledged the other day and um, on Monday, right? Monday. Yeah. And today's Thursday. And um, so this morning, I mean, we kept hearing them, her make noise all back in here, calling them and taking food and stuff. So I, we had high hopes that both of them had made it. Greg actually um, took one of them, put it on top of the fence because it didn't seem like it could fly over it. I guess the other one did. Anyway, this limb right in here. This morning, I followed the mom after she got mealworm up there, had binoculars. I saw both of the babies, so both of the babies are alive right now. Yay! So that's great. So anyway, well, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, hope it wasn't too long. It's probably too long. Probably too long. We, we, we get kind of long-winded sometimes. We? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, we want to thank you guys for watching and get a chance. Please like, subscribe, and share our video. Um, we're hoping as the months go by, things will get better. Yep. Uh, I'm getting better. Um, actually going back to work on Tuesday. So kind of excited and kind of a little bit of anxiety. It's almost like going to your first job, how you're kind of anxious about going. So... I'm a little anxious about that. I mean, I know I can do my job. It's just getting back into it. So, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. And you guys have a great weekend. And we'll see you next week. Bye.